Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 11 of Orsiki, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I'm fucking laughing, Kim! Okay, but well, hold up. As much as I like that opening, <laughs> we're not gonna talk about the real elephant in the room. The shit that Sakura was talking about last week, hopefully, is gonna be talked about in this fucking episode. Because if Cosmos does not tell them about what the fuck is going on, like, bruh. Mm -mm. <laughs> You okay? Hi, Tom Popo. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I mean, you can do something. Ain't that funny? Oh, uh, he's so fucking cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, and then what if he doesn't have a good behind plan? Then you are screwed, my boy. Yeah, he brought those two. <laughs> oh, Pansy? Was he your first crush? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, how to wait, wait, wait. We got one more elephant in the room. Those two. <laughs> He's so fine. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's obvious. <laughs> mm hmm
This is so fucking awkward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is going to be... Sure the fuck out. Not really. <laughs> Guys, how about not? <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of know that already, but... Yeah. It seems a little wrong, but to them it's right.
You know you do. Yeah. No, it's okay. What happened? Yeah, but adding these good people to say it more offer for you guys. <sighs> no, don't be sorry. Okay, um... So that's what you meant. But there's got to be a but. Mm, of course. Which is it's almost like he can't take no for an answer. Oh. I'm like you. Mm 
True. Bruh, I can't. I can't. What the fuck? Oh my god. Dude, a lot happened in this episode, especially with the situation on Hose and Pansy. I never would have assumed it would have been something like that. I ultimately <laughs> thought it was going to be where he was in love with her. But I did say, like, oh, it seemed like that was shut up. I'm going to take him out after I'm done. Um, I assumed that she was in love with him. He broke her heart, and then maybe she could be so bitter about that. But no, I mean, you just went in like, nah, bitch, that's not it. But bro, oh my god, I, I get the fact is because she feels so weird around him, and even with the fact is that uh, both Cherry and what's her face said what they said in, in like way before they had the conversation. Like, it all makes sense. Like, mm -mm. to put aside your feelings for a guy. So that he can be happy with someone else. I get that because I've done that. I think every guy and every girl has kind of done that. Whoever they're in love with. Because if it's not you. You know you're just happy it's somebody else. But you still want it to be you secretly. But mm, it, This might be how I, You know what no. It, it already got awkward. But I think it's going to be even more awkward next week. Because the fact is like. They're now going to try to like still keep hoes away from Ponzi. And it's just like. Uh, it's so awkward. <laughs> okay, hold up, hold up. Son, what the fuck you plotting? Like, See, I don't like that smile because remember the last time when he did that smile, he was in the end like a dickhead and I've already started to forgive him. I like actually no, I've been forgiven him, but that smile, I cannot fucking trust that smile. That is a smile that is like, mm -mm. like, you know how you want to probably want to beat somebody up for a creepy ass smile? Like, no, bro. I don't know. But then like. It, he could be, whatever he has planned, we're probably going to find out by next week. Because, I mean, this show also has, like, I think one more or two more episodes. I don't really remember before it's done. But, God, what the fuck is he planning? It's, I don't trust that. Mm -mm. Sun, don't make me go back on my bad side with him. Because I really like Sun now. Like, in the beginning, and especially learning the motives and shit, I did not like Sun, especially learning about everything. And then after that episode, I slowly but surely forgave him. Hell, my favorite episode is with him and Jota with the freaking male bonding yaoi up in this business. Like, yes, <laughs> that was like the best freaking episode for Sunshine. That was the redemption episode for his ass. But it feels like it's just doing complete 360. And it's just like, mm, yeah, take away that redemption arc and <laughs> shit. But, I mean, he could be, there There could be a reason of why he's doing it. And whatever it is, we're not going to know until next week. But still, 
just the waiting. Oh my god, like Christmas is gonna be so fucking crazy. <laughs> like that ass is just gonna be so weird. But, like how the hell are they gonna solve this? And if this show um either ends next week or the week after, bruh, I can't. I can't, but with the title saying the one that I love is, it seems like Jodo is possibly going to finally confess to Pansy. I'm not 100% sure, but we really ain't gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 11 of Orzuki. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 12. Bye, guys!